Good afternoon, good afternoon. Oh, that's so sad looking, isn't it? Work at house just empty, just got wire baskets and some watering cans, a few pots. It's all right. <clears throat> I've got two 40 gallon and 160 gallon tank over here that are full of rainwater off the roof. And um, I'm out walking up and down the sidewalk and getting a little exercise outside, not doing anything crazy. It's only been three weeks since my surgery, so I'm still under um, orders not to do anything crazy. Um, they probably wouldn't want me doing what I'm doing right now. Anyway, um, it's real clear water. You can see all the way to the bottom. It's, it's full all the way to the rim. Start at the zero. And we're at two. Two parts per million. Two parts per million. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. That is great rainwater. There's a little bit of sediment in the bottom and a couple of leaves that came off the roof, but um, that's all right. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, that little bit of sediment's not hurting a thing, not a thing. That should be your one thing you try and do in 2018 is try and find yourself a source of good, good water. Whether you're using an RO system or whether you're trying to collect rainwater, but find yourself a good source of low PPM water that's in your in your pH range. Now I'm not going to check the pH of this. It's around six, seven, six, eight. The parts per million will go up and down based on the sediment and stuff that storm blowing. The, whether it's a bunch of wind blowing, it blows a lot more sediment that way than it comes off the roof. But um, the the pH doesn't change a whole lot at all this time of year. Um, it stays around six, seven, six, eight. Um, in the summertime, it goes up to around seven. Just a couple of points, six, nine to seven sometimes, and that's about it. That's about all the change I ever see here. If I let a lot of, bunch of leaves and stuff collect in the bottom of it, or let a lot of nutrients drip out when I'm flat, when I'm watering plants out here, or something like that, that might adjust the pH. But for the most part, it doesn't affect it at all. That's 36 inches of water, and you can see all the way down to the bottom. It's really clear, very, very clear. Anyway, I'm just out here checking. Um, that's 240 gallons out here, and another 40 gallon that I keep inside where it stays a little bit warmer, it stays room temperature in there in the shop. So 280 gallons of water um, that's just ready to go. Um, I think that's great. And I, again, I think that's one of the most important things you can do for your plants is find yourself a source of good, clean water. Um, I keep the, I take the lids off of these in the summertime. I keep the lids off of them too sometimes if it's raining and stuff. But um, and they get frogs and tadpoles. I've showed that before where I get frogs and tadpoles in them. Um, it doesn't hurt them. I'll drop one of those mosquito dunks in there, which keeps all the mosquitoes out. Um, doesn't hurt the tadpoles. Doesn't hurt the orchids. Doesn't change the PPMs. Doesn't change the pH. Um, it just adds a live bacteria that kills the kills the mosquito larvae. Just preys on the mosquito larvae. So that's all. But um, let me go inside and um, show you what's going on in the room, orchid room. Lots of growth. Hang on. All right. Anyway, I'm just in here looking plants over. Admiring again, admiring all the growth. Bud's getting ready to open. The little ones here, these little mounts that were just flask babies last year, I'm really amazed. The ones that held on and have hung on through all the all the spring, all the summer, and um, now the winter. Um, I'm just amazed at the new growths that are all starting pop, started popping out. Actual real, you know, solid little bulbs and canes starting. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Lots of growth on a little bit of everything. It's Nodosa. Lots of new roots. Lots of new spikes popping out. Lots of growth. I've got lots of good rainwater out there. I'm going to go mix up some nutrients, probably about 100 parts per million, something light. It's a light general purpose feed um, and start watering. Even the, some of the ones that have the new growth, new little growth, just growth all over. Um, they'll do real well at that rate of that that strength of feed. A little shaky, sorry about that, sorry about that. I'm using a phone, I didn't charge my camera, so my, I'm using my phone right now. I wasn't planning on doing anything, I just happened to be out here looking around, so uh, I 
thought I'd pick up the phone and start recording a little bit. Everybody likes to look at plants and see the updates. I do myself. Just loving all the new growth. Big new canes. That yellow bird's gone crazy back there. It's got about four or five new growths on it. Lots of roots. I love that. That's great. Big, strong. Looks like a strong grower. Lots of calcium, lots of calcium. I'm seeing beautiful growth, lots of roots, lots of, and the growths are getting good size, so we must be doing something right. I must be doing something right. When the growths are getting bigger than the original plant, like back here, this new cane, um, and still going, I think we're doing something right. But the plant's maturing, obviously, but these two Catlias, um, I've got two of those, the Catlia Mont Spot that I showed. They were bag babies last year, and they're, um, They've done real well, had some nice big growths on them, started up a couple of months ago. I think it was December 4th, my video, December 4th, I showed them, and they were just a couple of inches long. Anyway, they've gotten mature now, and they're bigger than the original plants, and have spikes coming out. That one actually has bud spike, buds on top of it now, so I'm really pleased. Must have the light close, must have the food, you know, close, the nutrients and stuff for it to go from a brand new growth to co completely all the way through and to get the buds on it. So, must be doing something right. Um, that makes me feel good. Lots and lots of growth all over the place. Just lots of growth. I'm probably too shaky for everybody I know. Androvian's doing really good. I like those growths. They're already bigger than last year's growths. All right. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks again for all the comments, suggestions, prayers, thoughts, messages, everything. Just I appreciate it all. It means the world. It's very healing. Without a doubt, very, very healing. Um, I've got some hungry plants and thirsty plants and um, plants that are just growing like crazy, just growing like crazy, doing really, really well. So, anyway, have a wonderful afternoon. Get out there and work in your garden. Thanks for watching. And, um, We'll see you soon. I'm going to obey the doctor's orders and go take it easy. Have a great day.